morning, everyone. This is Bremster, and today I'm continuing the trend of coming to you with basically brand new setters. Um, to the best of my knowledge, this is one of the first puzzles ever created by KitKat, and she sent it to me. I can't remember if this was an email or a Discord message, um, and said, would I take a look at her puzzle? Yes, yes, I will. Um, I don't have testers or anything like that, so I have the ability to just play with stuff and I'm going to try and make a video of this. So this is All We Need Is Music by KitKat. Um, it is kind of auspicious that I'm recording this today because I'm going to go see two musicals. So I have got a very long day ahead of me because I've got stuff after that as well and I have to work. It's going to be a very long day. So um, one of the things I do want to um, state is I believe... <sighs> I'm recording nearly a fortnight in advance at the moment, um, but the plan, which um, is for us to release the polarizing Sudoku pack, which is a pack about odd even, which is parody, not polarity, but I'm Brimster and I often get things wrong. So polarizing Sudoku about odd even, um, you can be polarized about your opinion about whether that's a bad name or not, um, is hopefully going to be released on Friday the 13th of May. It's not a spooky pack, there's no theme, it was just a date, and releasing puzzle packs on Friday seems to make people happy because they get the weekend to work on it. Um, I'm going to run the pack probably for over a month. Um, no idea how many puzzles will be in it. At the moment, we seem to have somewhere in the mid-20s, um, and people are still submitting. So um, I'm not putting a limit on the size of the pack. If I can get to the same size as March of the Quads, that'd be awesome. Um, there are some incredibly difficult puzzles that have been submitted. There are some much easier puzzles than I expected that have been submitted. So we may add a new section like a, a welcome to the park section or something before you start your walk in the park. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something out. Um, but yeah, so that should be coming on Friday the 13th. If something goes wrong, it may be delayed, but the pack will come. Um, so don't attach yourself to that date, but uh, we'll do our best. Anyway, on to All We Need Is Music by Kit Kat. There are a few rules in play in this puzzle. I have no idea how hard it is, but um, first-time setters tend to make things a little bit easier because... They're just playing around and trying to figure out what they can do. So we'll find out together. So what rules do we have in play? We have um, in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. Normal Sudoku rules apply. We have arrows. So digits placed on the shaft of an arrow, um, you sum them up and they must go into the circle um, that is attached to that arrow. Uh, cells separated by black dots must be in a one to two ratio, or one must be double the other. Um, not all dots are given, so that is ratio pairs. Um, cells separated by an X must sum to 10. Cells separated by a V must sum to 5. Not all Xs and Vs are given, so XV pairs. And um, digits on these lines, these are between lines, digits on the lines must be strictly between the digits in the circles. So we have between lines. The last thing we have is the digits placed on these gray circles must be odd. With that, this puzzle should be solvable. Let's give it a shot. Um, the first thing that's jumping out at me is this arrow has to be a six or a seven because there are three cells in the same box that are adding together um, and the minimum you can do is one, two, three to six. However, there is an eight, nine looking at it. So this has to, oh, actually it can't be a seven because seven would be one, two, four and I can't use a four. So this is one, two, three and this is a six. Four now, um, I could go four, one, five. I can't go four, two, six. I could go four, three, seven. I could go, can't go four, four, eight, and I could go four, five, nine. So they seem possible. Um, I think these are just going to be disambiguators. I'm probably not going to do that. These dots look interesting. Hmm. These don't see each other. So these could be the same digit. There's probably lots of ways of doing this. Like, okay, 
Here we go. Six and six. Six has to go into one of these two, but if I put a six there, that's a four and that's not possible. So that is a six. This is even more restricted. This is one, two, three to make this seven, eight, nine. Um, this is one, two, two, four, or four, eight. I can't put a four there, so I can't put an eight there. And the reason I couldn't use three, six here is because the three and the six are not possible. So the only crop key digits that were left, or ratios that were left, were one to two, two to four, and four to eight. Um, oh, that's much more restricted. This has to be one, two, Sorry, one and four or two and three. That's a V clue. There's This is three digits. If this is even two, four, which is the second lowest option, then I've already blown the maximum digit I can put here. This has to be one, two. So this is not four. This is not eight. This is one, two. This can't be one, two. It can't even be three. This is a four. This sums to three. This is a one and a four. I could have got that from the V. This means this is a two and this is a one. This is not a one. So this is not a seven. Two and three. Oh, this can't be a two because that would need an eight. This is a three and this is a seven. This is rocketing forward. Okay, so the digits that we've got in here, this is now a quadruple with a dot in the middle. So this is going to be powerful, I expect. One, two, four, and five. Well, I can't put five on the dot. So this is one, two, or two, four. Either way, there is a two in one of those, and I can take the two out of those. I can't put five on that dot because there's dots in all of those, so that becomes the five. Now, odds are that's going to be the one, isn't it? Actually, no. Well, maybe. What? Okay, one would have to go with two, but two has to be here in the box. So this has to be four, this has to be eight. Four comes out of here. This is a one, two pair. So. Hmm. This can't. Ooh, interesting. This, if this is one, this is two. If this is two, this can't be one, but it could be four. So if this is three plus two, then this is five. And if it's three plus four, it's seven. So this is five or seven. Oh, okay. This is two, three now because of the one and four. This was always two, three. So this was always seven or eight. I should have looked at the clues I had presented to me at the start. This is one, two, three, or four. That's not four, so that's not one. That's not four, so that's not one. This is a two, three pair. There's lots of ways of addressing this puzzle, which is kind of cool. I can't put one there, but I could put one there. So that still can be a two. And that's thinking about the between line. I'm kind of racing at the moment, possibly because of the solve I did with um, Kishore yesterday. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight go in there, but the order is known because of that eight. That is the seven, that is the eight. That resolves this is the seven, this is the three, this is the two. Which makes takes two out of there, puts two into there. Is this now restricted? Well, this is a quadruple. I don't mind quadruples. One, two, three, four, five, six, and nine. So if this was a one, this would be a nine. This cannot be a one. If this is a two, this would be an eight. This is not a two. If this is a six, this would be a four. And if it was a nine, it'd be a one. So they are all possible, I think. So one and two have to go in here, which means this is not a one, which means this is not a five. They're both odd. That is odd. Yeah, I'll get to that. If I could get three out of there, that would be interesting. Because the between line would be a lot more powerful. This is also a quad. One, two, five, and nine. Well, that's not a two. These are not nine. 
So this is, oh, this is three or five only because it's one, two, three, five in the row and I have a one, two in the box already. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I could have done a lot of work if I just paid attention to the three, six on the arrow, making that annoying. You know, use the tools you've got. That would help me a lot. Um, you're given clues in grids for a reason, Bremster. This is not one or two because of the one, two over here. So this is a six, nine pair. I take six, nine out of here. This becomes one or two. Now, if this is two, four, this could still go up. I've still got room, I think. Although, oh no, this could be a seven. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I've got options. So this is also a quad. Three, five, six, and seven. I'm not putting seven in there. So seven is in those. This is a one, two, four. There's one and two in here. That's a five. That's a one. There's no one and five in there. The two makes that a nine and that a two. Two is now down here, but it's... Well, that makes that a three and that a two. That does take three out of there. I was talking about that earlier. Three is now in one of those two. But this now has a minimum of four, which means this has to be higher than that. So this is lower than that. So what is this? There are a lot of options though. Maybe there's not. One, two, three, four, five, six, three and eight. So this is eight. This is three. This is not three. So this is a quad. Four, five, seven and eight. Well, there's, this is the eight because of the eight in column seven. So this is four, five, seven. Now, this is a two and this is a one and has been because... What is it with given digits that are just so... So this is five, seven, or nine, because four, five, seven, nine are what's missing from the row, and there's a four looking down. So this becomes the four. Four comes out of those, which is helpful. This being a one means that this just has to be higher. So that's actually made this a little less powerful. This, however, is really restricted. If this is a six, this would be a five or seven, and that just doesn't work. This has to be the nine. This has to be the six. This has to be the four. Now, there are not three digits between nine and seven. So this has to be the five, and this has to be six, seven, and eight, which means this is a five, and this is a five, and I've broken the puzzle. Hang on, I must have mistyped there. When did I put that in? Because that's five, seven, and nine, not five, seven, and eight. That was a mistype. That's a four. Four comes out of there. Now, this still has options. It won't in a minute, because again, I've got the same problem here. If this is a six, with five here, there's nothing between them. With seven here, there's nothing between them. This becomes nine. If this was a seven, these would all have to be eight. That doesn't work. This becomes five. This becomes six, seven, eight. Six, seven, and eight, because five, six, seven, eight, nine. That takes seven out of there. This becomes five. This becomes nine. Now, these are one, two, three, and four, which does allow for either of those, except that's a seven because of the five I just placed. That's better. That's not four. It's not two. That's the three. That is not a three. Um, so nine with three and four is seven. So this is the two, this is the one. This has to sum to five, so that becomes two and that becomes four. That's kind of nice. These are a pair, one, two, three, four, five, six, five and eight, but eight is not odd. So that is the five, that is the eight. This becomes a three, four and three makes seven, which I could have got from the row. So there's lots of ways of progressing this puzzle. Um, I will provide feedback at the end, although providing public feedback to a setter may be considered rude. But eh. uh, that becomes a three. The one over there makes this two and this one. The five looks up. This is not a five. The one looks down. This is the four. So this is the six. Again, I could have got that from the column. Um, 
I mean, there's very cool things to be said by about making approachable puzzles, but uh, this is a five because of the six in the column. This is not a five. Um, so this will resolve from something. What looks the most constrained? That column does. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a nine. So this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, and seven. There's no two there. There's no seven in either of those. So that's a seven. So this becomes a two, five, and there's a two in row nine. So that's two and five. This is now a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the six, this is the five, the six makes this a seven and a six. This is an eight, this is a seven. One, three, and nine. So that's a nine, that is a three, and that is a one. Now we're down to the last box. I have to put a one, a five, an eight, and a nine. And that did not take me 562 minutes. I just set the puzzle some point yesterday and did not get back to it. That was a very cool first puzzle. There were some nice interactions of the constraints and a lot for the solver to discover. Um, as setters get more experienced, I think they get a little bit more comfortable with exploring what constraints are needed and what's not. It becomes very easy when you're first setting a puzzle to go, hang on, if I put a, a, a ratio dot here, or if I put an odd here, or if I put a thermo here, then I can resolve this thing rather than looking for ways of resolving um, a, a conflict that you've found on your grid in a way that sort of fits the theme of the puzzle. But as a way of exploring um, a grid and just starting to put um, constraints in and seeing how they work and coming up with something that was fun to solve, that was a success. That was a fun to solve puzzle. Um, there were obviously many ways through it because a lot of the clues got resolved from me coming in from the other direction, whereas I could have actually gone the other way through and, and pushed through. And that's perfectly fine. I, I think puzzles like that are a lot of good fun. So thank you, Kit Kat, for submitting that puzzle. I hope you continue to set and uh, continue to send me your puzzles. Um, they would be a lot of fun to solve. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Again, thank you KitKat for sending that through, and uh, I hope everyone is having a good May so far, um, and good luck with your solving.